low wage workers they are really a vulnerable group and I sympathize uh, with them uh, in a sense that uh, many employers sometimes do try to take uh, advantage of them because of their uh, ignorance. Uh, recently during my meet the people uh, session, uh, one cleaner came to see me and she shared with me that she was actually shortchanged. And when I look at the uh, pay slip, it was stated clearly uh, contract for service instead of a contract of a service and uh, because of the fact that she is not very familiar with her statutory uh, benefit uh, they are very very uh, vulnerable uh. Uh, in my interaction with low wage workers we have come across uh, cases where they are not paid the usual uh, overtime rate i've come across uh, cases where uh, they are not even allowed to take uh, any leave or even given uh, only one week, uh, one day off for every uh, two weeks uh, for working uh, for two weeks. Uh. Uh, 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 they are also in a sector where uh, is dominated by outsourcing, and and because of uh, outsourcing, uh, many of them they might have been. Uh, working for seven to uh, eight years uh, without even uh, experiencing uh, any uh, wage increase. Uh, worst off, uh, some of them uh, might even uh, experience uh, a fall in wages uh, when the contract uh, is uh, uh, is then taken uh, over by a new uh, company. Uh, personally, I am glad uh, that this year's uh, NWC uh, recommendation. They continue to support uh, NTUC's uh, proposal for a uh, built-in uh, quantum wage uh, increase uh, for the uh, low wage uh, workers. Uh, last year, we actually uh, recommended uh, for uh, companies to give uh, $50 uh, built-in wage increase to those that are earning uh, below $1,000. Uh, even though I'm disappointed in a sense that of all the companies that we uh, that they surveyed, only 3 out of 10 actually uh, gave this uh, $50 built-in uh, wage increase. I was hoping uh, that more companies would actually uh, come forward uh, to adopt the NWC uh, 2012 uh, recommendation. Uh, nevertheless, uh, this year I'm heartened uh, that we have actually uh, taken an additional uh, step uh, to see whether there could be uh, even more widespread uh, adoption of uh, this new $60 uh, built-in wage uh, recommendation. Uh, in 2012, as of last year, uh, we realized that many of the outsourced uh, cleaners, uh, even in our unionized uh, companies, uh, were not given the built-in wage increase due to the nature of the outsourced uh, service uh, contract. Uh, so this year, uh, the, in the NWC 2013-14 uh, recommendation, uh, they made an explicit uh, recommendation for employers and service uh, buyers uh, to make a special effort to incorporate the NWC uh, recommendation into their uh, outsourced uh, service uh, contract. Uh, there's also a recommendation that for service buyers in future uh, to allow uh, for NWC uh, recommendation that would enable these workers uh, to earn wage increment to be factored in when they tender for, for contracts. We, uh, I think uh, currently uh, many companies are still uh, taking the uh, cautious uh, approach uh, with uh, regards to uh, giving wage increase to their employees uh, based on uh, WCS. Uh, maybe, uh, we, I think it is still early to see how this would uh, pan out, uh, but I think uh, what is very, very uh, important, uh, NQC, uh, we shouldn't. We should continue in our relentless uh, pursuit uh, uh, to encourage uh, companies to embark on initiatives that would increase workers' uh, productivity. I think on that basis, uh, we would be in a better ground to ask for higher wage increase for our uh, workers. Mm. Uh, personally, uh, I think all this while we have actually. Uh, taken the moral suasion approach where we actually encourage companies to uh, adopt the NWC recommendation but I think uh, we have not made any significant uh, breakthrough. I seriously think that government should consider uh, 
uh, legislating for NWC uh, recommendation to be adopted by all companies uh, regardless whether you are unionized or non-unionized.